the average age of this 52nd parliament is 49 years old. Okay, boomer. The phrase, okay, boomer, has become the generational shot heard around the world. Okay, boomer, it's going viral. What started as a meme between Gen Z has quickly become a worldwide phenomenon and an insult to boomers. I kind of see kids being a little bit more not as respectful to their elders. Oh, yes. Yes. Kids to be out of control. However, in their time, baby boomers were once the ones considered rebellious. A popular phrase that the generation once used was, don't trust anyone over 30. Today, it appears as if history has repeated itself, and Gen Z is making it known that times have drastically changed, and they don't agree with the views of the past. Some things I wish boomers would understand is that times are changing, and they can't keep comparing everything to what the past was. Like, things, sure, things are getting easier, or there's just different challenges now. Like. Not everything's becoming so like, oh, it's all technology based, you don't know real interaction. Like, it's a, times are just changing. Of course, the boomers are not on board with this meme, saying it's equivalent to the racial slur and it's ageist. But one can draw a strong parallel between the protests occurring today and the spirit of the civil rights movement. My overall view on boomers is that they're kind of like lame, they're uptight, because they're always just saying, you should do this and that. I'm like, I'm only 17. Uh, I can see that we can be lazy at times, because like, we're always on our phones, and I get that. But not every single person is like that. That their time, that they, like, you know, when they grew up, it was so different. Like They didn't really have as much stuff as we do, like technology-wise. And that our priorities change, and that the things we do change. Older people, uh, in general, a lot of the time, are a lot more disrespectful to me, just in public places. Like, a lot of the time, I'll just be vibing, I'll just be, like, sitting around, and they automatically assume that I'm up to no good, and a lot of times, they'll, like, sort of shuffle away from me, or, like, they'll just, even when I'm with some friends, they're just, like, they assume that the younger generation is always up to something. Boomers, for the most part, I've found in my experiences with them, are, they're just a lot more closed-minded. They, they live in this uh, era of like prosperity, all this post-war baby boom, right? So they, they're living in this great time and they expect all of us to be living in this great time, you know, and, and we're suffering to get through and they're like, you should just work harder and it's a lot more difficult. And I just, I'd like boomers to know that we are working incredibly hard and we're not lazy, we're just not taken care of as well. The other generations don't sympathize with us as much they see us as dumb kids, which we are absolutely not. So I just, okay Boomer, pay attention to our suffering, thank you. Yeah, I think kids just have to grow up too fast, so, you know, they have to worry more and there's so much competition for school and getting into colleges and, you know, so, I think yeah. you miss out on a lot. Ayo, hey, yeah, this one goes out to all the 65 plus crowd on SoundCloud. Not gonna say much, shout out Jed Will. He gonna take over on the mic. Old ladies suck. Okay. Honestly, I have a boomer mom and dad, and they're pretty great. But like, I do know there are some like hardcore boomers who like don't that don't like treat everyone the same way. And for those, I mean, they kind of suck. But I mean, I think majority of them are actually okay. Surprisingly, unknown to many, the generational gap may not be as wide as we think. 